So in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you a strategy that ICT himself said that if you follow for 90 days, you'll be able to quit your job and become financially free. Now I'm not making this up because you can head over to Instagram and watch this video of ICT himself, breaking down the strategy and letting you know how you can quit your nine to five in 90 days simply by following this strategy. Now, I'm not going to make you sit there and watch through this entire Instagram video just because it is very, very, very long. So what I will do is in this video today, I'm going to break it down for you and show you exactly what he says so that you can follow along. And for added benefit and for added ease, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to leave the checklist that ICT talks about as well down in the link below. So I'm going to leave it down below in the description so that you can also have this checklist so that every time you're marking up a trade, you can follow along, tick the boxes. And once you've found a trade, you can make sure that it fits the criteria so that you can then quit your job in 90 days. Right. So first things first, as we can see over here, what you want to do is mark out the zones between 9.30 a.m. and 11 a.m. New York time. So this is when the New York session is. So for us in the UK, well, for myself in the UK anyway, that will be 2.30 in the afternoon. So let me get my vertical line and place that right here. So that'll be 2.30 until 4, right? So let me get my other vertical line and place it bang at 4. Boom. So this is the time where we're actually going to be looking for a trade. Right. So the second thing we want to do is we want to identify and annotate the five minute buy side and sell side liquidity swings before 930 that price can run out. Right. So if we go back onto the chart, we'll be able to see right here that we have a swing point here and a swing point here. Right. So what we want to do is we want to take our line tool and we want to mark out this liquidity here and this liquidity here right so this is where our liquidity is so i'm just going to mark it as liquidity oh there we go so we've got our liquidity points marked out right so after we've done that we want to come over here and go to step number three so we've got market structure shift plus displacement so as soon as either buy side or sell side liquidity gets run out we want to drop to the one minute and annotate the current valid swing plus displacement candle and wait for a market structure shift. So what we want to do is we want to drop down to the one minute and now we are simply going to wait. Price to take out either the buy side or the sell side liquidity. We want to see something like this or something like this before we can end up looking for a trade. So let's see what happens. Price is faffing about. Boom. Right here is 2.30. So New York Stock Exchange opens and we right here have taken out this liquidity so once we've done that we want to come back and we want to mark this off because now we've just got the sell side liquidity being taken out right so the next thing we're going to wait for is as soon as price shifts structure with displacement we want to annotate the displacements high and low within the range and identify if there is a fair value gap if there's no fair value gap, we do not have a trade. That is a very key step. Please do not let that go over your heads. Make sure you have a fair value gap. Right. So now let me explain to you what is going on here. On a one minute, we've had a sweep. So now we are going to wait for a market structure shift. This is our swing point. This is what needs to break in order for us to get a market structure shift. If we get something like this, that is valid. Okay. However, if we get something like this and it fails to break this high, that means we do not have a market structure shift and this trade is not valid. So we must wait for price to break this before we can look for an entry somewhere for price to go higher, right? Okay, cool. So we're waiting and we're waiting. We're seeing what price does. Okay, now we're getting some momentum into the market. However, we cannot get into this trade because there has been no market structure shift. This I do not count as anything because that is simply just noise, right? I want to see this get taken before I can class it as a market structure shift. And bang, there we have it. 
this is now our market structure shift now the market has shifted structure so we go back to our checklist and we see as soon as price shifts structure with displacement we want to annotate displacement high and low and identify if there is a fair value gap how do we do this we do this by marking out the high and marking out the low right there and as you can see right here we have a beautiful fair value gap lovely let me just take this bang as you can see this is a beautiful fair value gap in which price had nothing but displacement to the upside so now that we've got the fair value gap we can tick this off because it looks like we're gearing up for a beautiful trade right next thing we have to do is a limit order once we've identified a fair value gap we set a limit order just slightly above or below the fair value gap because we anticipate price will come back to fill right so everything is done now we've got the market structure shift we've had a sweep now all we do is we place a limit order just above the fair value gap you can put your stop loss just below however to be safe i like to put it just below that candle right there and then we target liquidity so now if we go back to the checklist we've done limit order stop loss will go above or below the swing point of the market structure shift and the target will be opposing liquidity so let's tick those off go back to the chart and as you can see it will be either here you can place it or to be extra safe you can place it below the swing point however i'm going to be placing it here and our targets will be at the liquidity point as you can see this is a 1 to 1.8 risk to reward trade so now all we simply do is sit back and wait to see what price does there's our entry so we've been tapped in price is faffing about faffing about faffing about and there we have it take profit has been hit beautiful that is a absolutely beautiful trade and price still continues to go higher so if you had held on then this would have so far been a 1 to 3.38 risk to reward and i think price does go higher as well but as you can see that was how you follow the checklist from a to z from marking out the time zones identifying the buy and sell side liquidity making sure that you have market structure shift and displacement fair value gaps marking out your limit orders stop losses and targets if you simply follow this checklist step by step and do exactly as i've shown you here today as you can see this was the friday just gone it's the 23rd today and it was the 22nd which was yesterday that we had this trade and as you can see that would have been a beautiful one to 3.38 risk to reward all you need is simply one trade like this even just per week because if you can hit a trade like this per week that's three percent that you're up in one week in a month that's 12 percent now think about how much you would be making if you had a 100k funded account 12 percent on a 100k funded account is twelve thousand dollars now let's say the prop firm takes 20 percent of that 20 percent of 12,000 is what 12 2400 so 12,000 take away 2400 is 9600 now that's nearly 10 grand in a month that you would have made by simply following the checklist I have up here so I will be leaving this checklist down in the description below please feel free to check it out please feel free to back test this and comment the results that you've seen but this is an absolutely amazing strategy and I hope everyone gets a chance to be able to use it. It's been amazing guys. I'll be back. Take care.